Hey up everyone. <clears throat> so I want to talk about My Little Pony. <laughs> My Little Pony. <laughs> so, like, whatever. Any of you like used to follow me on Twitter and stuff, you know that I had, like, a My Little Pony. Okay? Thing. It was like, a my, it was like, whatever. It wasn't, it wasn't like a proper um, character, from sure. It was like some fan art that somebody had done. But I had, like, red and black hair, and my, it was my daughter, really, who chose this habit from me. And she says, whatever, it looks like a narco pony. So, whatever, because, so, like, I used to watch this My Little Pony with my daughter, right? It's whatever, so I kind of mainly got into it, however. But, like, I remember how it started, this whole brony thing, like adults watching My Little Pony. It all started on 4chan, right? So, whatever, I used to spend a lot of time on 4chan <coughs> before it all got a bit too racist and stuff, but whatever. Right, so, so I used to spend a lot of time on 4chan. And, you know, these fucking threads kept popping up with My Little Pony things on. I was like, what the fuck's all this about, right? And then, whatever, everybody's, like, going on about this TV show, like it was the best thing they'd ever heard of. And I just thought it was just some bullshit on 4chan. They were just trolling people and fucking about. I didn't actually think anybody liked this show, whatever. Like, whatever, it was supposed to be a kid for six-year-olds, a show for six-year-olds or something. Why would adults like it? Right, so whatever, I just thought it was some bullshit going on on 4chan. I didn't really, really take any notice of it or anything like that yet. And then whatever, like, I was on Netflix and there was a show all about bronies and I was like, whatever, that's that shit off 4chan, what the hell is all about? What was that about, right? So, for whatever, I watched it. And it wasn't really about the TV show, it was more about these people who liked it, these people who called themselves bronies, yeah. And like, whatever, it was like... Whatever, they just seemed like people who were, like, kind of introverted and, like, social anxiety and Asperger's and stuff, people who didn't really have any social skills or anything and found it hard to like make contact with people or something like that whatever and they seem to have found this community where they all got on and they helped one another and stuff all over this tv show i was like whatever that sounds like an amazing thing why, why is any why is that why do people have like i didn't understand why people had to go at them or whatever do you know what i mean like whatever they just seem like they found something that really helps them in a social sense and stuff so like why was that a problem i don't get really get that yeah so whatever right so whatever i watched this tv show by i kind of thought I understood who these bronies were, whatever, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm totally not like that at all. I go talk to anybody. I don't give a fuck about talking to people and stuff. But whatever some people do, some people don't find it easy to talk to people or make friends or whatever. And this thing seemed to be helping them, so whatever. It sounded like an awesome thing and whatever. So whatever, I forgot all about it, right? And then, right, so I was watching some YouTube channel, right? And it was like, I don't know what it was about conspiracy theories or something, I don't know. But anyway, right, the guys who were presenting it were quite funny and I thought, oh, this is, this is pretty awesome. I'll have a look at their back catalogue, yeah. So I'm looking through their thing and I find one It goes, the brony controversy. I'm like, controversy? What the hell? How, how could that possibly be controversial in any sense? <laughs> Whatever. So, so I started watching this, this programme, right? Again, it was more about bronies than the actual TV show. At this point, I hadn't even seen a TV show. I didn't even have a clue what it looked like or anything. But anyway, right, in this thing, they keep referencing this other video, yeah? So they kept talking about this other video and stuff like that, whatever. So I thought, whatever, let's go watch that. So I went on to that. Like, it was basically a PhD thesis that somebody had done on, on our bronies, a deviant social group or something. It's probably sociology or something, a title like that. But whatever, so it was like a sociological thing where they were looking at bronies and, like, do you know what I mean? Like, what the demographics of them were and, and all this sort of stuff, yeah? And, like, whatever, this was the first time I ever saw any of the show, and, like, they put, like, little clips up and stuff, and it was, like, proper funny. I thought, actually, it's, it looks really good. I liked the visual. I liked the, the like, the colour palettes and stuff, and the way that it looked. I thought it looked really good. And, like, whatever, characters seemed really funny, and there was loads of funny things that they were showing us and stuff. I thought, whatever, it seems pretty good, this show, whatever. So, whatever, I watched that, and then I was like, whatever, man. Like, the only way you're going to fucking understand this brony thing is if you just fucking watch it yourself and see what you think, yeah. So whatever, I went onto Netflix, put put on my little bonus, start watching the first thingy, right? First episode, one of the characters, Twilight. She goes, um, it's imperi it's imperative that we do whatever I'm like, well, hang on a minute, imperative. Imperative. I thought this was for six year olds, right? Whatever. There's no six year old with imperative in their vocabulary, I'm pretty sure about that, right? And maybe this is not for kids, yeah. A bit later on in show, she's like, oh, he's on the precipice of science. I got precipice, precipice. <laughs> Six year olds, is it? I don't think so, right? So I'm like, whatever, this show's clearly not for fucking kids, whether they're using words like that, do you know what I mean? 
And whatever, right, this first episode, it's split into two parts. I get to end at first part, I'm like, whatever, I need to know what happens, right? It's a proper good story. It's a really, really good story. And like, whatever. So I had to watch second one, right? So then, I watched second one, and then I watched third one, fourth one, and fifth one, and basically spend an entire day and an entire night just watching My Little Pony. Right, whatever, man. It's like one of the funniest TV shows I've ever watched. It's so funny. And not just, like, laughing, like, proper belly laughing. It's it's proper, proper funny. And it's really intelligently done. It's clever. And it, it's it's proper not for kids, do you know what I mean? Like, people say, oh, whatever, you're watching a six-year-old show for six-year-olds. You're like, man, it's not a kid's show. It's a family show. It's basically a family show. It's for adults to sit down and watch it with their kids. And there's loads of things in it for adults and loads of things in it for kids, yeah? So, so whatever, right? I, I sit and watch this all day and all night and I get up in the morning and, like, usually, usually the first thing I do in the morning is I put radio on, Radio 4, and I get on and I start reading newspapers and finding out what's going on in the world and stuff like that, yeah? That's the first thing I do in the morning. I don't really watch television until till early evening usually about six o'clock or something i'll put tv on but up, but whatever i don't that's so well anyhow so i wake up next morning and i'm like i want to watch more my little pony so i sit and watch my little pony and then i watch it right all the way to the end of the day like all day and all night everything that's all i did all day was just sit and watch this fucking tv show right so for two days that's all i've done right whatever it gets to end at second day and i think whatever i think i'm a brony man this show's absolutely awesome so so whatever i like I basically tell my daughter i'm like mate you should watch this tv show it's awesome she says i watch it anyhow right? i'm like whatever so me and her start watching it uh, that was basically how I became a brownie. But, like, it's like, right, whatever. There's about seven seasons of it, yeah, right? I've probably watched every season about 20 times. I'm, I'm watching it again now, and it's just the most amazing TV show I've ever seen. It's absolutely awesome. On every fucking level that you can think of to analyse a TV show, it's just on, just like, 10 out of 10 every time, everything, right? The stories, they're absolutely fucking amazing. They're absolutely amazing. You're gripped. You want to know what's happening and shit. Do you know what I mean? The characters, man. The character development is is just unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. You've got this, like, six characters around. They're all completely different. They've all got completely different characters and stuff. It's just proper cool. It's proper... It's really, it's really, it's really, really fucking clever. It's really, really clever. Right, they do this... Right, so what I say, like, it's a family thing. They do this one joke, right? I think this is just... This is just genius, right? Because... This joke that they do, it, like, it works on two levels. It works on an adult level. The adult likes it, thinks it's a funny joke, but for completely different reasons as to why children find it funny. But but both of you find it funny, but for different reasons, right? Yeah, so whatever jokes like this. So one of the characters is called Spike. Yeah, he's a little dinosaur. He's pretty cool. Whatever, they're like at a party or something, and they've got a punch, yeah, and he ends up falling over, and this punch ball falls over the top of him, right? So whatever, so the joke is basically the, the punch has been spiked, yeah? So whatever, adult thinks spiked punch, put alcohol in it, whatever, it's quite funny. But kids are like, whatever, character's called Spike, and he's got punch all over him, so that's funny too. So it's funny for both of you, but for completely different reasons, do you know what I mean? Like, that's it's a genius joke. It's genius, that... Yeah, so there's stuff like that. Whatever, and one of the shows, right, they're in this, like, temping bowling or something, yeah, and camera pans across like this, and there's, like, three people sat down. It's the characters out of fucking Big Lebowski, right? <laughs> Whatever. There's, there's no way a six-year-old's getting that reference. Do you know what I mean? Big Lebowski, whatever. Whatever. But everything about it's just... Just, just awesome. It's, it's so funny. It's just literally belly laughing. Every, every single show's got a belly laughing moment in it. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes it makes you cry, but most of the times it makes you laugh. It's just awesome. The characters are, are just, just ridiculously well developed. Really awesome. The, like the music, man. The fucking music's just out of this world. Some of the songs in this are just fucking genius. They did one song. It's based on a Stephen Sondheim song. I think it's called The Dress Song or something. It's fucking awesome, man. It's just it's just an awesome song. All the music in it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I've got loads of their songs on my fucking favourite list on YouTube. And I just listen to the songs. Because they're just that good. They are, they're just awesome. Um, 
And like, even like the incidental music, you know, like the music in the background, like sort of mood setting stuff, that's all awesome as well, man. That's really cool as well. Everything about it, the palettes, the colours, just the look of it is really cool as well. It's like kind of bright and stuff. But everything about this TV show is absolutely amazing. So basically, I used to get a lot of shit online being called a paedophile and stuff just because I liked this TV show. <laughs> Whatever. I used to get loads of stick on, on Twitter because I had a fucking My Little Pony have it. If it was people like fascists and stuff, you they bring it up as if somehow that wins an argument or something. But whatever. I used to get loads of people, all right, whatever. So one of the things they always go like is like, oh, you're wanking off over a children's fit show. And I'd be like, whatever, mate, just because you wank off to, off to every TV show you watch, don't think everybody else does. You make yourself look a bit weird. Or whatever. I used to get loads of shit on, on Twitter for, for having them high up on it. Whatever my fucking daughter chose that, I don't give a fuck what you people think about it. So whatever. Anyhow, anyhow, that's it, it's my little pony, so I'm going to issue a fucking challenge to all you lot out there, right, who think you might think my little pony's shit, whatever, you're missing one of the best TV shows in the world, so I'm going to put a challenge to you. Like I say, episode one, split into two parts, watch the first part, it's 20 minutes, whatever, you haven't got 20 minutes to watch a TV show, of course you have, sit down and watch it, 20 minutes. And if you get to end and you don't want to know what happens, then whatever, fair enough. But I bet you anything you do want to know what happens, and I bet you anything else you want to want the next episode and the next episode, because it's that fucking good. So, watch My Little Pony. You're fucking missing out on an amazing show.